All right, so we know that with NVIDIA AI, you can turn any text prompt into a full ready to publish video with a script, voiceover, video footage, subtitles, everything you need. But that's just the beginning, because whereas previously you had a limited choice of voiceovers, right now you can clone your own voice and use it in these AI generated videos. If that isn't enough just yet, you can now also translate those videos into any other language even if you don't speak that language itself. So InVideo AI made this video with my cloned voiceover in English. This serene spot was once home to the Beguines, women who led religious but independent lives. Sounds pretty cool, right? I then asked it to translate that into Spanish and apply my Spanish voiceover to that video. And here's what that sounds like. Sabias que este sereno lugar fue hogar de las beguinas, mujeres que llevaban vidas religiosas pero independientes? Pretty crazy because my Spanish doesn't go much further than buenos dias. And that's not it. There is many languages available. Let's try German. Willkommen in Amsterdam, einer Stadt, in der es mehr Fahrräder als Menschen gibt und jeder Kanal eine Geschichte hat. So the possibilities with this are endless. However, what are those possibilities? What can you do with this? And how does this even work? Are the videos any good? And most importantly, can you monetize these videos on YouTube? I'll be breaking down all of that for you today, so let's dive in. All right, so as usual, to get started, you do need an account on NVIDIA AI. You can sign up for a free plan to follow along this video. I will leave a link for you down below. Now, before we generate a complete video, in order to clone your own voice, as well as then translate it to any other language, you do need to turn on the beta features in NVIDIA. Here's how you do that. First of all, click on your profile, then go to settings. Then as you can see, you'll find beta features right here. Simply turn on that button just like this, and then you're ready to roll. We're now ready to generate our video. The way we do that is by simply telling it what you would like to create. When doing so, make sure that you've got the model 2.0 selected so that you get the best version as of right now. So here's what I'm gonna start off with. Create a two minute video about why Amsterdam is the best city in Europe. Use a mill voiceover, make it entertaining and include a joke in the intro. So right there, you can get very creative. You can tell it whatever it is that you want it to make and it will do so. As soon as you've got that covered, you can click on generate a video right here. It is now gonna analyze what you told it to do. Depending on the prompt that you gave it, that might take a few minutes, but usually it's pretty quick. Next up, it will ask you a few pointers. So it will ask you what kind of audience you have in mind for the video. For example, travel enthusiasts, culture buffs, or adventure seekers. The look and feel, for example, inspirational, bright, or clean, and then the platform. So I'm gonna stick to travel enthusiast. With the look and feel, I'm gonna go with bright. And then for the platform, I'm gonna stick to YouTube. And then you can click on continue right here. And this is where it's actually gonna generate the entire video for you. Now, once again, depending on what video you're making, that might take a few minutes. So I'll get back to you as soon as this is done. All right, it's done. So what I'm gonna do right now is show you the video by default. I have not changed anything yet, just from the prompt that I just made. This is the video that I created. Hey everyone. If you're thinking about stealing hearts, you might as well do it in Amsterdam, because let's face it, once you visit, the city steals yours anyway. Today, I'm diving into why Amsterdam, often crowned the queen of European cities, truly lives up to its title. Now that is pretty crazy. However, the voiceover is not mine. I want it to be mine. So in order to do that, we must clone our voice. We can do that by going back to the homepage of NVIDIA AI. And then on the left-hand side menu, you wanna click on voices, which is under plugins. And now you can see that I have already cloned my voice 99 days ago. But in order to do this, you wanna click on add voice and then follow the instructions that appear on the screen right here. So you wanna submit a file of at least 30 seconds of audio with your voice where you mention this sentence right here, which is basically you giving permission for them to clone your voice and use it in your projects. And then that will just take a few minutes and you'll have your own voice available right here. Now, what is important is the name that you give it. So I've named my clone voice over Yuri, which means that if we go back to the video, I can now change it by telling it to use Yuri's voice. Here's how you can do that. So you've got this command box right here, which is basically a prompt editor. So you can simply tell what to do and it will then do that. So I can say change the voice to Yuri's voice. And then just like that, I can click generate and it's actually gonna change it to my voice. And that goes for anything you want to do with this AI video generator. You can tell it what to create. So if you would like to have a different opening shot, you can simply tell it to do so. For example, our video is starting with the shot on the street, but I can also tell it to change it to a drone shot of Amsterdam, and it will then do that automatically. Now that means you don't need any technical skills or whatsoever to get videos done. And as you can see, it says it changed the voiceover to Yuri's voice. So let's find out if it actually did. Hey everyone, if you're thinking about stealing hearts, 
you might as well do it in Amsterdam. Because, let's face it, once you visit, the city steals yours anyway. And there we go. That sounds pretty good, and that's in English. It's my voice. So you've got the option to change anything you want by simply typing it in the box. But you can also manually edit parts of the script or any media clips by clicking on edit. From there, you can search for a better fitting clip in the search bar, select the clip you want, and then simply replace it. The same goes for the script and music. If you want to do that, click on edit script and then remove or add anything you want. This makes it extremely easy for anyone to edit the video, even if you don't have any experience. Now over to the next step, which is brand new. I can change this to any language. I'm gonna say change the script to Spanish, use Yuri's voiceover and put it in Spanish. Then click generate and what you'll see it do is simply change the language to Spanish in my voice, which is a language that I don't speak. So in the meantime of that generating, I just wanna let you know that you can do this in Japanese, German, French, Spanish, Brazilian, Portuguese, Italian, Hindi, Korean, as well as Quebec French. And there's many more languages coming up as well. All right, the big moment is here. Let's see if I speak Spanish now. Hola a todos. Si estáis pensando en robar corazones, podéis hacerlo en Amsterdam. I guess I do. I mean, I cannot judge the quality of the Spanish translation, but for all my people that speak Spanish, let me know in the comments down below if this actually makes proper sense. But it does definitely sound Spanish to me, so that is crazy. With that said, if you want to see how you can fully create and edit the script, the voiceover, the clips, etc., I recommend you check out my 18-minute full in-video AI tutorial. It has over 150,000 views. It has everything you need to know. I'll leave a link to that in the description down below. So that is just the implementation and how you can do it. Let's now talk about if you can monetize these videos and if they're actually any good, like will they get you any success? In my opinion, the video quality is pretty solid, especially if you think about the fact that it's done quickly. It can be done in a language that you don't speak. You don't have to spend time finding clips that you can use in your video. So you kind of don't need any technical skills, which is a huge benefit for people that have never made videos before or for people that know how to make a video, but they just want to save time. Now, does it work for any type of video? And is it a full replacement yet? No, I don't think so. But that also doesn't really matter as there is already plenty amount of things you can do with this. Plus, it will only get better from here. Anyway, it cannot replace videos like this one on the screen yet because this one right here is made by an actual human being. So she went to the city, she made a vlog, she talks about the food, she's actually eating it, stuff like that. The AI video generator cannot really do it in this video format yet, where it's kind of like a POV video. It can definitely make a video about Valencia, but just not in this style yet, where it's actually sitting on the plane and stuff like that. But luckily there's many other content formats for which it works wonders already. In my opinion, these mainly include information-based videos. Now these can be travel guides, these can be history facts, videos about animals. There's a lot of concepts that you can think about. I recently generated a video about golden retrievers with NVIDIA AI, and it was about things that you should know before getting one. And what I can now do is figure out where people are buying or like golden retrievers the most, and then translate that video into that language and upload it for that market because there is 1.5 billion people in the world that speak English, and that leaves another 6.5 billion people that you cannot reach in English. You know, Mr. Beast actually did that concept. Did you know that he has channels in all languages? So he started doing this, as you can see, three years ago to grow his audience and influence. So simply said, translating his content unlocked a massive, a huge income stream in other parts of the world. Now, all of that brings me to the final question. Can you monetize these videos on YouTube? The answer is yes. I have done this myself. I am doing this myself. It works. The finished video definitely meets the requirements of YouTube monetization. Now, there was an issue that I saw coming a couple of months ago, and that's the fact that there were not so many voiceovers available on NVIDIA AI nor could you upload your own voiceover. Because if that stayed the case, everybody would be using the same voiceover over and over again, uploaded to their own channel, which means there's the same voice on hundreds or even thousands of channels, right? So luckily now, because you can clone your own voice, you can use your own voice, and that issue totally disappeared and became irrelevant. And this whole concept of AI content is definitely growing. There's this channel right here, for example, it's called Blue, which is owned by Quebelcop, a big YouTuber, all of this stuff is fully done by AI. There's just like an AI character, like an AI cartoon kind of up on the screen. And these videos get millions and millions of views, 6 million views, 5 million, 4 million, 4 million in a month. So if you are not sure if AI content actually works, 
It definitely does. This channel makes over 100k a month. With that said, if you want to try out InVideo AI and generate videos yourself that you can publish on your channel or anywhere else, once again, I will leave my link down below so you can sign up for a free plan so that you can test it out. And then if you actually like it and you want to get serious with the videos that you make, I do recommend taking a pay plan, which starts as low as 20 bucks a month. And that will also give you access to cloning your voice. So with all of that said, check out the video right here. That's the full InVideo AI tutorial. And then I will see you there and help you out with everything else that you might want to know.